Question seven. Uh, what could be the role of the People's Republic of China in maintaining security in Central Asia after the planned withdrawal of ISAF in 2014? Uh, could China participate in securing economic development? What about transport? This from a question, uh, this from someone in uh, Belarus. I thank you for the question. Uh, and I think it's an important one. China is, of course, a major global player. But a country of that size and that importance is even more uh, important uh, and has more of an impact in its own region. Afghanistan uh, has security implications for China as well as it does for Central Asia. The Chinese have every interest in seeing stability in Afghanistan. And the best way to ensure long-term stability in Afghanistan is through cross-border financial and economic cooperation, as well as cross-border financial, uh, sorry, uh, security cooperation. Uh, the security cooperation is being discussed extensively, and to a certain extent it is happening. But the recent processes launched in Bonn and in Istanbul at the end of 2011 uh, focused on the first aspect I mentioned, which is economic cooperation. The best way for countries to get along is to have a stake in each other's stability and each other's prosperity. China can obviously play an absolutely critical role uh, in encouraging this kind of cooperation, this kind of interdependence. Uh, and I'm quite sure it will. Uh, it is in everybody's interest that Afghanistan, which of course has been a very prosperous country, could be prosperous again. Uh, and as it plays such an important role uh, because of its geography as a transit country, uh, I think has a lot of potential. Finally, of course, China has invested heavily in uh, Afghan mining. Uh, and that has real potential as well. This was a major contract signed by the Chinese government, which uh, I think will have a real impact, positive impact on the life of, lives of Afghans, and that's a good thing.